shit for us. <laughs> John over at X Split. And I, that's more, it's a joke, John, if you're listening. Uh, John has been very, actually very good about keeping up with me and trying to figure out the problem with our old Elgato capture card. Because we, we had the Elgato Game Capture uh, HD. Yeah. Just a standard. It's an older capture card. But, you know, it still checks out. And it's the one that I use at home. It's the one we used here for, for a while, and it works. Yeah. For some reason, it wasn't working, and John actually passed along all of our information. We gave him a ton of information about, like, the system hardware and how it interacted. Credit with card Jim, number. Social security routing number. Yeah. Uh, you know, the weirdest thing is he needed uh, of our fingerprints. <laughs> The retina scan was a bit much. I, I just don't understand what that has to do with XSplit. Uh, but he, so he was trying to set up a time where the actual developers of XSplit could take control of our computer to try to figure out what was wrong. Yeah. And he gave me a window of time, and it was a large window of time, uh, but it was Hong Kong time. Yeah. And that time ended up to be between midnight and 9 a.m. here. <laughs> <laughs> uh, on a weekday, by the way. On right, a weekday. Right. And I just said, that is never happening. And I'm sorry that it's just not going to happen, right? Right. And so we were still trying to figure it out. But in the meantime, I know we're going to have to stream console games. You know, Mario Odyssey's coming out. Yeah, yeah. That uh, Okami HD I got for the PS4 is coming out. Uh, there, there are things that we need. So I, I, I grinned and ba uh, bared it. And bought me, uh, us, I bought right, us right, right. a Elgato HD60S, which okay. is their newest version of their capture card. Actually, one of the really neat things, uh, it's USB 3, okay. which is great. And one of the neat things is there is very little lag Good. between capture and... Uh, and what we play, and so we don't we we don't have to like worry about like doing anything weird with X Split for the sync, right? For the to sync it up with each other. Well, that that's nice. So that is nice, and it's like you know it's not going to kill us to get a new capture card because it's still like relatively not that expensive, and we we need it. So so no oh fuck, what's wrong? We were almost on top of it, Rich. I forgot to change the game in chatty. <sighs> oh fuck! Can you um open up the laptop, which we need to open anyway, and change the game? We gotta yeah. change it in there too. Oh, G oh fucking G oh! We were so excited to start early that we messed things up. So we have to Thank just change know. every everything's ruined. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, wait. Everything's I, ruined. I, I never remember the damn thing. I want to be a woman. You know what the password is. I'm sorry for that, by the way. Thanks. Okay. Okay. It's a uh, capital I. <laughs> That's not a problem. That's Thank no you. Problem. <laughs> Rich, you need to know that I'm comfortable enough. Oh, this this might take several minutes. Oh, Jesus we're, we're, Christ. We're up, Windows is updating. I'm comfortable enough. Mandatory update. Mandatory update. Rich in. Required. Required. All right. Admin. Here we go. Okay. Let's see. What, what are we gonna call this? Golf story. Sure. Go <laughs> gold. Is Go gold. Gold story. Oh, here we go. Never-ending golf story. Never-ending. The never-ending golf story. <laughs> Nobody's gonna get that. The, no, everyone has seen the never-ending story. No, they haven't. I have, but everyone? No, they haven't. Everyone has seen the no, never-ending story. No, they haven't. Chat, back a brother up here. Every motherfucker has seen the never-ending story. My dudes, it's Sunday. It is. Yes, they have seen it. We have. I have. What? Okay, for, so for those of you who have not seen Golf Story, 
Get on that shirt. Go golf story? Never ending story. For those of you who have not seen Never Ending Story, get on that shit. Because uh, it's good. It's a good movie. All right. Here we go. Change that to Golf Story. Boom. Get you back over here so we can see. And then we go back over here so I can play. Great. We did it. We did it, everybody. We are now just a few. The switch is going to sleep. Yeah. All right. Sean says, giving Sean. back to the stream to help pay for the new capture card. Thank you, Sean. Appreciate that, Sean. It's it's a slick little capture card too. It's it's it, you know designed. Okay. Oh, so we're pretty late into the story. So. What is going on? So what is happening right now is the the lady in the brown hair is a rival golf teacher and Our coach has the hots on her. So he invited her over to dinner and that lady in the pink hair is our main golf rival Who is now being taught by the rival coach? Okay, and so they're coming. So that's my coach up there yeah, That's me obviously Uh, and so right now we're not golfing. Right now we're preparing for dinner because uh, it's it's a uh, an overly dramatic golf RPG. And so can, can I say it's weird that the text boxes aren't in the same eight bit style? Yes, it is weird. By the way, okay. It, I, and you okay. can say that, and you can be true in saying that. It like like it's like kind of slightly distracting. Yeah, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm with you. And it's even more distracting every once in a while the tech, like the, the word bubble will like shift with people and it, that's not what would happen in an old school game. And so it's, it's definitely you know, even if, if it shifted, but it still looked like the 8-bit style, that would still fit in better. See, like, look at that. Like, that does not look. No. Yeah. Also, um, here's uh, one of my harshest criticisms of the game is the music sucks so hard. Okay. Looking looking at your avatar, uh, I'm presuming you cannot customize it? You cannot customize it. Because I know for a fact it would be either bald or a grandma. A grandma? <laughs> Why would it be a grandma? <laughs> uh, uh, friggin' Bloodborne. Oh, that's right. <laughs> oh, Granny Gilf. You know, uh, I started playing Stardew Valley on the Switch. And I know they have done a ton of updates since I played it originally. Yeah. And I was uh, kind of hoping they added that bald character to the character customization. They have not. They have not added a bald character in Stardew Valley. There's got to be a mod. There is a mod, not for the Switch version. <sighs> Are you sure there's not? I, I checked. There is not, there's not a bald... Option. Okay. For the Switch version. There could be one that comes with a PC now, but... Ha, <laughs> coach is burning the roasts. Oh, no. But I did, uh, you know, like... Uh, one of, I don't know if this was... I don't even know if this was part of the original game. You know, you can choose different locations that your farm is in. Uh-huh. Like, I chose, I chose the Riverlands. Yeah. It's awesome. For fishing. For fishing, yeah. yeah oh yeah. fuck, I'm like I'm like a master fisher, and I'm not even out of spring yet. <laughs> I just fish all fucking day. It's great, <laughs> and you know, like there's always water, so you never have to worry about refilling your can. Right. Yeah. It's right. Great. And it's beautiful. Like that's what I figured because I'm I'm growing a coffee farm, and so I want all of my coffee crops to be like next to the river. It's gonna be gorgeous, Rich. I'm so fucking. Excited. Have, you, have you gotten coffee beans yet? I have not. I looked into it. They uh, coffee grows in the spring. Yeah. And you have to buy them from a traveling okay. salesman. So I'm not gonna gonna have enough money until it's gonna next be like a, spring. It's gonna be like a year. Well, but n now I know what to do. Like concentrate on money. Yeah. Concentrate on money and getting my farm in order for my coffee plantation. So I got all year just to raise funds to buy so much fucking coffee. It's 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 work to get it done, but that greenhouse would help you out. Ooh, that's a good idea. That's a good idea. 
So I need to know that coffee all year round, Jack. Yeah. You can multiply your beans. Fuck yeah. Yeah, no, I'm like I'm into it. I, I the first time I played, you know, when we did the review, I didn't really have a goal in mind. Yeah. And it, you're absolutely right. And you said this during the review where this is the kind of game where you need to have a goal for yourself. Right. And now that I have a goal, I'm super into it. Really? I'm just, because, like, I know exactly <laughs> what I want to accomplish. I think, like, the hard part is as soon as I have, like, my full orchard of coffee, I'll then, just... Well, then you're done. Yeah, then, then I'm then, done. Then that's just it. Then you're done. Exactly. That's how, that's how it works. That's how Harvest Moon works. That's how Stardew works. <laughs> <laughs> so, but, like, now I'm super into it. I'm, I've am i already got three hearts with Penny. So, you know, pretty excited there. Thank you. Getting, moving my way up in the world. Yeah. So. Yeah. You know, got I, I have just a, a, a tab open for the Stardew Valley wiki, so I know like exactly the things that she likes. Yeah. <laughs> Person in the chat? What do you mean she, you, there was a bug where she wouldn't fix your greenhouse? As far as I know, you get the greenhouse through the the community center bundles. It's the 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 sprites sure, sure. that fix it. Mm -hmm. You might be able to get it through Jojo Mart if you give them enough money. Oh yeah, yeah. they have. A they, they might. You might be able to get the greenhouse that way. But I'm not paying any money because I need my money for coffee beans, right? Well, depending upon how early you might be able to get the greenhouse and how much it would cost, mm -hmm. you'd only need one coffee bean. Then you grow that, and then you take the seeds. You just replant them, sure. and then you get your seeds for the coffee that way. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we'll see. We'll see. I'm uh I'm looking forward to it. I'm just super into it at the moment. Just taking it day by day. Shame the game won't let you open like a coffee house. That would be amazing. But I mean like that cuz that's the other thing though. Like I need I need plenty of kegs too to make my coffee. Do you make the coffee in the kegs, or do you just, is that like a kitchen thing? I think you make it in the kegs. Yeah? I, be I believe I read that you make it in the okay. kegs. Okay, okay. I don't know if that's exactly true. Look at his hair when he walks. I love that. Blop, 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 <laughs> blop, 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 blop. <laughs> I have to remember how to play this game now. It's been a while. I want to see the actual golfing. Well, that's the, you know. I'm hyped. Okay, so this is the overworld. Yeah. This is our place, well, well worn, I, well worn grove. I hate the scale they have drawn this in. Well, this is the overworld. I still hate it. Well, <laughs> this is nor this is normal overworld map. All right, so I think today's the day of the well worn grove open. And I'm not sure if I was supposed to go here yet or not. You make coffee in the kegs. That's what I thought. That's what I thought. So like, I have a lot of work to do, and I'm building up for stuff. Like I'll and it, like my my whole approach to everything has changed now. Like my Stardew Valley approach. I have, like, I have three chests. Would you rather be playing your Stardew Valley game right now? I, that's just what I'm into right now. Would you I, rather be playing that? We're right gonna now? get a little bit of golf story in first. All right. All right. This is what we tried to play last time. I want people to see Golf Story because it is fun. I've compl I've stopped playing it completely now that I have Stardew Valley. Like, if you want to switch after an hour, I won't give you grief. That's that's probably because I can out. totally tell where your headspace is at <laughs> it's right now. Super into Stardew Valley, and it is not. I'll, I'll tell you this: it is not in Golf Story. <laughs> <laughs> It's not. Well, there's no golfing right now. Here's here's my, uh, my another problem I've been having with Golf Story. Uh, very early on. Very early on in Golf Story, we, uh, we got to do something really fun. An army of skeletons popped up. In Golf Story. In Golf Story. And we needed to, you know, hit them with golf balls from afar. Of course, of course. And it was awesome. <laughs> <laughs> like, that's exactly what I was expecting this game to be. Like, an army of skeletons pop up, we hit golf claw, you know, we hit golf balls at them to defeat the skeletons. Since that, nothing like that has happened. How long ago was that? A while ago, many hours ago. So. 
We're just, we're just gonna get. We're, we gotta get to the golfing. We're gonna get to the golfing. I'm desperately interested in seeing the golfing. Yeah, I mean it's standard golf game, but you know if you like that stuff, and I do like. I used to play that with my older brother all the time because he would only play sports games. Yeah. And so I have so many hours into every single iteration of Tiger Woods Golf. I've never played, like, Tiger Woods Golf. I like the golfing minigame in Grand Theft Auto V. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Why not? The computer's falling asleep because we're not playing on the I, computer. I understand. No, like, gol golf games are one of those, like, incredibly simple mechanics to understand, but still very satisfying when you do them right. Thank you. Okay, come on. Come on. Come on. We're golfing. We're golfing. Ferret in 2772 says XCOM or The Chosen yeah. is a perk that randomly puts an advent troop in your squad who can be evac but vanishes. I think it's implied that on the Sky Ranger, your squad jumps him and beats him to death. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> That's great. That's an interesting perk. How powerful are the Advent? Not that powerful, but uh, there, there's someone else for the enemies to shoot at. It's useful. Sure, like like a. Like random, you don't care if they die. Like having a random soldier. Yeah. On your team. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Uh oh. All right. So those are mole mole. Moles, they're moles. Alright, what's our wind like? So we aim, you know, our wind, if you look up in the yeah. top right corner, so our wind is heading that way. Six Y? Huh? Six Y? Six Y? What's the line? Six here? yards is what I assume. Mm -hmm. I, uh, I don't know. But it's going that way, so we aim a little bit this way. Slope is looking good. We don't want to end up in the, uh, we don't want to end up in the sand or in a mole guy territory, because if your ball ends up in the mole radius, the mole takes it and puts it somewhere. Okay, okay. They're evil moles. But I think... Avoid the moles. Avoid I got the it. Moles, I avoid got the it. sand. All right, I think if we go here, we should be good. Okay, so like any golf game... Yeah. That white bar, when I hit the A button, will start moving, and then the more powerful you want it, you know, and for here for the drive, I want to all the way to the end, and then back into the purple is your aim. So you want to hit it. So power, aim. Yep. So pretty close. Right. Not perfect, but pretty close. Ooh, nice. That was damn near perfect, Jack. Felt pretty good about that. Damn near perfect. Felt pretty good about that. Oh, here we go. So now what you're saying here is like, well, this kind of sucks because I don't want to do a full power. Yeah. Uh, to hit here, and so I don't want to estimate it either. So then you have your this button. Where you can change where that second shadow is. Okay. So like if we do it like right here. You know, like and then put a little backspin on it so it doesn't go crazy. Right here, maybe. Have you gotten a hole in one yet, Jack? Oh yeah, I've gotten a hole in one. It's awesome. Backspin, backspin, spell. <gasps> oh! oh! Denied! Ooh! Denied! It's fucking close. That's all right. We can still get a birdie here. You, can, you, you, you aim it past the hole a bit? Aim it past the hole a bit, especially because if you look at our slope, it's sloping towards me a little bit. Uh, okay, okay. So we, we might want to put a... I might want to put a little more mustard on it. I mean, but we're pretty close. There we go. All right, great. Birdie. That's a good, that's an <laughs> acceptable birdie. Acceptable birdie. Ooh. That's great. Like, as you see, like, on the, on the next one, last time I played, I got an eagle, which is two under par. So, oh, my God. Yeah, pretty. How many courses are there? Um, really? What? I'm, I'm, that One, seems like a. Two, three, four, five. Uh, there are five that I know of. Okay. But it's a decent amount. Within every level, there's also like different challenges all over the place. So. Okay. Okay. It's 
So there are, there are, there's all sorts of different challenges everywhere you go. Well, Jack, here's a, here's a comment in the chat that's just tailored for you. Huh? Okay. Uh, Mr. Plickett says, Why are Rick and Morty fans becoming more insufferable each day? I was just talking to Rich about this when I showed up this morning. As you people know, or maybe you don't, uh, I only watched the first season of Rick and Morty, and, you know, I, I got it, just wasn't necessarily my show. No, I'm a big fan of the show. Rich is a big fan of the show, so I'm catching up on all this news today about Szechuan sauce. <laughs> and I, re I remember hearing somewhere that it had something to do with Rick and Morty. Uh, Rich, what is the deal with Szechuan sauce? It was, just, it was a joke in an episode. Okay. In the, the season three premiere. That's it. He implied his entire motive for everything he's ever done is because he wants McDonald's to bring back... The Szechuan sauce. Which apparently was very tasty. Yeah, yeah. Um, so this morning, my news feed is flooded with reports of angry Rick and Morty fans verbally abusing McDonald's employees. Because apparently McDonald's said, hey, it worked. For, a, for today only, we are offering at participating locations Szechuan sauce again. Yeah. And I guess no one checked beforehand with their local McDonald's if they were participating. Pr participating. And so apparently there were there were stories of people who like lined up around the block overnight. And then when McDonald's opened, they demanded Szechuan sauce. And not only did that McDonald's not have it, they didn't even know that it was coming back. They knew nothing about it. And so people are like yelling at McDonald's employees over fucking sauce, Rich. It's, it's, a uh, what kind, what kind of, like, there's just so many idiots in the world, you know? Oh, there we go. Oh, it's gonna be good. Get past the mole. Fuck yeah! And, in the sand? Fairway. I'm in the fairway. <laughs> I did it. Oh, this is gonna be tricky. It's gonna be tricky right here. I like Rick and Morty, but that Szechuan sauce joke wasn't wasn't the best thing in the world. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's, you know, you make a little joke, Szechuan sauce. Haha, ha, doesn't everyone remember Szechuan sauce? Great, right? And then McDonald's goes the extra mile and goes, okay, we, this has turned into a bit of a meme. Let's capitalize on this. Sure, we'll, eh, we, yeah, got yeah. Some, we got some Szechuan sauce in some containers. Some, which, ah, fuck it. Right? But then for... There is no... Ex unless... A McDonald's employee slaps you. There is no excuse to <laughs> yell at them. Right? <laughs> Unless they perpetrate physical violence upon you, there is no there is very little excuse to yell at them. Yeah. Alright. Ooh, might overshoot this. Might overshoot this a little bit. Oh, oh, whoa. What, what was that? Thank you. Slope. Slope. That's a big slope. That is a big slope. I was hoping I was hoping to double eagle it. But now we know like this slope is for real. Alright, right here. Thank you. Alright, another birdie. Another birdie. <laughs> Way to go. Another birdie. Brown Adam Sandler says. <laughs> Missed some streams, so I don't know if you've discussed this, but what do you think of movie pass? I've been using it for a month, and it's amazing. One free movie uh, for $10 a month, and 90% of cinemas accept it. Is it, is it one free movie a day? I don't know. Or one free movie a week? I forget what it is. I don't know. But it's, it's not a bad idea. You pay $10 a month, mm -hmm. and you either get one a day or one a week, and I forget what it is. But do you watch that many movies? For those who do, it'd be yeah. a great deal. Yeah. Right? Like, if you go to one movie a month, it would be worth it. Or, I'm sorry, one movie a week, it would totally be worth it, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, all right. Yeah, that was good. That was good. Look at this. I'm rocking it. Two under par. They got nothing on me. They got fucking nothing on me. Is your rival's name even on there? Uh, do I even remember her name? That's the better question. Ooh, so she's cool. nothing to you. She's n she means nothing to me, Rich. Wind's pretty rocking. I think if I aim here, the wind will take it far enough away. That's in front of me. I don't want to roll it too much. There we go. There we go. There we go. 
Nice call. Oh! You know what? I put some top spin on it because I wanted to make sure it got out of the right, mole's way. Right. That was the wrong much. call. Fucking wrong call. Ugh. Ugh. So is that a stroke penalty? How does that work? That is a stroke penalty. So now I'm on my third stroke. Yeah, yeah. Ugh. This doesn't seem like a good spot to aim with the wind where it is. I just don't want to hit that mole. Because, like, if I hit that mole, he's going to put it in the sand trap no matter what. Maybe if I go here. Maybe uh, under some... the mole significantly. Like down over right? Sure. Just to play it safe. Yeah, yeah. You know, that's not a bad Put idea. Put some backspin on it. All right. Let's see if this works. <gasps> oh! I got mold. So close. Oh! Oh! What? <laughs> you fucking mold. <laughs> Oh, this is gonna ruin my. This is gonna ruin me here. <laughs> here we go. All right. Do you know your rival's name now? Some bitty. That's respectful. That's respectful. I, I I do not have the movie pass. You do not have the movie pass. I guess it's a good idea if you go to a lot of movies. Yeah. Bizarrely, I don't. Handful of year. Uh huh. Shit. <gasps> Boom! You, you saved it, Jack. Par! You, you saved it. Chip in! <laughs> I needed that. I needed that. You were so upset when you got your, your power wrong. It worked out for you, didn't it, motherfucker? Well, it's because I'm awesome at this game. <laughs> that's why. I'm pretty. I'm pretty good. I, I'm pretty. I'm rocking golf story. Though, uh, like, there's a couple things that bother me about the game. The music sucks. There hasn't been enough wacko moments, and they did that like little overhead shot where they show you the whole course, right? Yeah. You can't now look at the whole course again. Sure there's not like a button I'm, you haven't seen? I'm positive that there's no button. Mm -hmm. Okay. To a world map. No, that wouldn't be it. So, yeah, I'm positive there is no... How can they make money off MoviePass if it's only one per day for only ten bucks a month? Because they're banking on you actually not using it all that often. Who's gonna go to the movie theater every damn day? Absolutely. H handful of people are gonna do that. And... Remember that theaters don't make their the majority of their money off of tickets. They make it out the concession yeah, stands. That's true, too. That's true, too. And so if you're going there more often, you are statistically more likely to buy more shit from them. The studios probably hate the idea. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Uh, but it's it's the gift card principle. What's That, that number comes out every year about like the amount of unused gift mm -hmm. cards. Mm -hmm. And it's always in the billions. Like people, you know, buy gift right. cards and give them, and they never use them. Right. Companies love that shit. Oh sure. They get the money, and then they never have to give you any of their products. Shit. All right, this should be perfect here. With the wind and the slope, I'm assuming I'm gonna roll out of mole territory. Cyrus the Mild Cold says, Jack. Fuck yes. Fuck yes. Cyrus what? Usually I'm not a stickler for the facts. For the facts. But you misled Rich Evans and <gasps> this I can't abide. Rich, I'm so sorry. I've misled you. The new Google camera thingy is encrypted. Google can't access content and it's not wearable. It's not wearable? No, it's wear... If it's not wearable, what's the fucking point? Hold on. Can I have that? There you go. Can I have that? There you go. Okay, encrypted I'll get to make sure like Google doesn't, you know, steal your shit. Sure. That was more of a joke, I think, on our part. The the whole Google's keeping track of your motion. Well, they probably do anyway. Despite, huh? They probably do anyway, despite what you say. Oh, sure. Google uh, camera. 
What, what's it called? It's not wearable. This is it. And encrypted by who? By, by the by the company who wants all of your data. Oh, oh. But no, they say it's encrypted, Rich, so. <laughs> that would keep other people from hacking it, you know, easier, but I'm sure Google has full access to this anytime they want. Alright, hold on. I'm, I'm reading up on the clip camera, the Google clip camera. What is it? Tell me what it is. Okay, hey, ready? Clip is a 12 megapixel camera. The housing is two inches by two inches and it's got a clip on the back to wear on your front pocket. That's what it says right here. Okay. There. It is a, it's, so it's not a, like a wearable, like a pair of glasses, but it is meant to be worn on your person to randomly take pictures throughout the day. Uh, Cyrus, we're waiting for a rebuttal. You might have you might have like smushed a couple parts of what we talked about together because we brought up Google Glass, and so like that's a separate thing though. You're not allowed to clip it on clothing, so someone and uh, Cyrus saying it's not meant to be worn. Then why does it have a clip on? The what back? the fuck are you supposed to do with it? And why would you want something that you can't wear on your person to take random pictures? What like it's gonna take random pictures inside your pocket? <laughs> Like how the fuck? What what do you, what is this thing for then? If it has a uh, like, I agree. If it has a clip, it is meant to be worn. <laughs> Get your shit together, guys. That's just nothing but pictures of the inside of my pocket. I'm gonna delete all of these. I don't know why I bought this thing. I put it on my. <laughs> Here's the thing, Rich. I put it on my table. You know what I ended up with at the end of the day? Nothing but pictures of my table. <laughs> this thing doesn't even work. What the fuck? <laughs> oh, I biffed. <gasps> oh, I missed. Oh, Rich, I, I know. suck. I know. I mixed up the slope for the wind. Oh, I suck. Gosh dang it. This is. Oh, wait. Gosh dang it. Are you guys sure it's a real product? It sounds like an onion parody product. It was a it real does. thing. It does sound like an onion parody product. It was a it was a very real product uh, at the Google. Oh fuck! There we go. Ah, bogey. Ew. In the Google Clip ad by Google, they show it indoors only, being used to capture family moments like having supper or cooking. That's bullshit. That's bullshit. That's good. That's just bullshit. That's absolute bullshit. You gotta you open your damn eyes and look straight through that and say that they clearly intend you to put this on your pocket so you can take pictures while you're out. While you're out and about. Absolutely. Who the fuck wants to take pictures of themselves cooking? I get, uh, I, okay, I guess here, here's, the, here's, a, here's a use that I could see for it. They don't want it to sound like a spy device. <laughs> Okay, hey, real talk. Real talk. As a parent, uh, there is usually a uh, there is usually a push and a pull with me. So like, let's say Christmas morning, right? Yeah. I want to like you know be there like present while my kids are opening presents, but I also want to take pictures. Know. Right. So if there could be a, a really good example of like, hey, you put a camera here, it'll take random pictures while the kid's opening presents. But then also like, I want to take specific pictures. <laughs> Will Google know how to do that? <laughs> no. Of course not. It sounds like a horrible product on the whole. It's it's interesting, I think. It has a, And it has a clip, people. It's interesting. Cyrus, do you work for Google? <laughs> What is what's going on with Cyrus now? What's he going on about? He says that's what it's for. Fuck. Thank you. Get up. 
Get up, get up, get up. Yes. No ball for you today, mole. Alright, the 97th Jackal says, So, Justice League is just going to be an edgy ripoff of the Avengers, right? Yep. Just like how Suicide Squad was for Guardians of the Galaxy? Yep. Well, at least it's not BVS. Batman vs. Superman? Yeah. Yeah, new trailer dropped today. I haven't seen it yet. Heard about it. New trailer. Uh, you know, it, it looks this, like the same grim bullshit except for, like, you can see the the slow turn in tone mm -hmm. now that Joss Whedon is in charge. Yeah. The the When they quip, it seems to make sense in the universe. And there were at least three occasions, Rich, yeah. where people smiled. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, once like once again, the main uh, conceit of the movie is: Can these people who are so different come together to save the world? Uh, sure, we've sure. we've seen it before. Yeah, I so don't care. I just don't. No. no. Oh my fucking god! That was way too much. Here we go. We got this. We got this, people. Don't worry. Um, Sir Bybars says, got a jet lag. So I'm able to see the steam. Ah, uh, yeah. Some love from the Netherlands. G uh, great. I'm glad you got to see the stream. We love the Netherlands, maybe. It's a fine. The Netherlands are fine. You have nothing. Nothing against the Netherlands. What? Oh. What? Oh, just trying to. Oh, duh. What's wrong? Just pressing wrong buttons. Oh my god, why are you doing that? Because I'm an idiot. Here we go. Does the wind matter that much when you're putting? The wind doesn't matter, but look at the slope. Right. So I'm thinking if I go here... Nice work, Jack. Nice work. Yeah. A little, you know, par. But I, let's see. I think I think I'm still okay. I'm still one under. I'm still one under par, which puts me in the lead. Which you know, that's what I need. Is Laura my my rival? I don't know. Or you know what? I actually I don't know if my rival's in this one. All right. God, I don't know. That's fine. What say you? Says organized a showing of Blade Runner at my local pub tonight. Fiance came and hated it. Ever had a movie slash TV show you love which your partner just didn't like? I get it, but you know. <laughs> you, sure. You can't win them all. You can't win them all. This is not a big deal. Yeah, unless you, you love Blade Runner that much to like a completely unhealthy degree. Well, it's like I could see like. Which is everyone who likes Blade Runner. <laughs> That it's not true. <laughs> it is a fine film, and if you think it's boring, I understand that, but it's still a very good film. And I just don't know why you're exaggerating. Jack, uh, Jack between... No, go ahead. Finish no, the thought. No. Finish the thought. No, I just like that. You go ahead. Between the wind and that slope, I think he could totally go beyond this mole. I think so. I think so. I, I'm, I'm going to make it roll forward, because, yeah. Oh, I can just roll forward. Um... Like, unless unless it's to the thing where she's, like, if your girlfriend is just like, I just don't like science fiction movies. And then you're like, well, oh, I really like them and want to watch them all the time. Like, that's when it starts to get like, well, you know, do we have enough in common? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You could. You could. You absolutely. very well could. Is, is that a deal breaker? Right. Exactly. That's something you need to figure out. I know the, over the over the weekend, I, uh, I was watching that new show that I love on Netflix called Love. Right. And I tried to get Lisa to watch it uh, with me at first, and she wasn't really interested. Because I, like, I love romantic comedies, and she's not a big fan. <laughs> and now I'm into season two, and I, and I, was, I was watching Love, 
And yeah, she sat down and watched a little bit of it with me, and I was laughing out loud at parts, and she was stone silent, and I'm just like, you know, you don't like it? And after the episode was done, I was like, I was thinking about watching another. You want to watch it? And she's like, no, I'll just go read. It's like, oh, that's fair. I'm sorry, Jack. She I'm, I'm sorry. She didn't like my show. It's so interesting. Oh, I could have. I needed to hit that little. Oh, oh, oh fuck. no! Oh, oh my God! You lucky motherfucker! <laughs> <laughs> you, you lucky motherfucker! <laughs> I'll take it. All right, here's my chance for eagle. This is XCOM tactical golf. Pretty close. Pretty close. I'll will take the I'll take the birdie. Yeah. I'll yeah. take the birdie. I'm okay with the birdie. XCOM tactical. I mean, it's golf. This is what I, every golf game is, as far as I'm concerned. There we go. Birdie. I'll take the birdie. I'll take the birdie. It's a good birdie. Would have been a great eagle, but I'll take the birdie. That would have been a phenomenal eagle. <laughs> Humberto Cabbage Patch says, Cabbage Patch says, My mother is sitting next to me confused about what the fuck I am watching. Say hi to Anne. Hi, Anne! Hi, Anne! You're watching two people play video games and talk about pop culture. Live! <laughs> so we can interact with you, kind of, like on a on a on a slight uh, delay. It's very strange. Such is life. Such is life. Oh God, here we go. Cyrus the mild cold says. Uh oh. We. F in quotes, we find that wearing it, just to say it bluntly, is not a good way to get good content. Mainly because it requires you to act strangely. Just in pain, product lead for Google Clips. <laughs> then what do you do with it? You, it's, it's, it's literally like one of those things where it's like you have a kid's birthday party and you set it up somewhere so like it can randomly take a picture. It's gonna take, it's gonna, it's gonna take ten thousand photos all from the same fucking angle because it's just sitting there. Right. That's stupid. That's kind of stupid. But I think this is all a lot of PR. No, this isn't a spy device. Oh no, we're not we're not just taking pictures of everything you do. No, that's what this is. We don't want you to wear it, but also coincidentally this clip. we it was got a clip on it. And uh, you know, here's a little hat that it could fit on, but it's not supposed to. <laughs> but it could fit right on this hat. That's what it could do, but it don't we don't want you to do that. <laughs> I gotta be smarter about this. Perfect time lapse machine. Or you know what? Just use an actual camera and put it on your shelf and put a time lapse on it. You can get digital cameras. I... Here's the thing, it's a, it's a 12 megapixel lens. You can get digital cameras with better lenses with more functionality. For cheaper, this is a $250 device. Uh, God. But then somebody made it small and claimed it was high tech, Jack. I'm sure it is very high tech, Rich. <laughs> I am sure it's very high tech. Well. Did we see Blade Runner yet? Well, I'm so notoriously fond of you know the, the original. So, so you want you went right out. I went right out to see that. Yeah. Yeah. I'm um, waiting. I'm waiting to hear what other people think of it. And Curi I'm curious. As someone who is a fan of Blade Runner, I am very much looking, and Ryan Gosling in general, I, I think he's a very fine actor. Uh, I'm looking forward to see it. I didn't get a chance to see it this weekend because I had stuff to do, unfortunately. Yeah. But I'm looking forward to seeing it. Oh, fuck. Bunker. 
That's all right. We can bunker this in. The third one, I, I've heard Jay liked it. I haven't, I haven't watched anything about it yet. Oh yeah. I'm presuming there'll be an episode. It's up. It's, it's up, up already. Okay. Yeah. Oh fuck. I cocked it. And I know Jay felt the same way I did about the original, so I might like the new one. Yeah, yeah, that's true. But I did I did not run out to see it first thing. Atomic Mousetrap says, Domino's gave me the wrong order. I ate it anyway. Am I a wimp? Should you complain based on principle? Alright. Your first mistake was Domino's. <laughs> Is there where do you where do you live? Is there not like a any any kind of decent pizza place within ten miles? Okay. Domino's is not the greatest. <laughs> But as far as as far as fast food pizza, Domino's isn't the worst. It's better than Papa John's. It's better than Little Caesars. So I w I would go Pizza Hut. I'm a Pizza Hut fan. Is there a, is there a, a a anywhere in this country that is not near just like some kind of local pizza place that has actual good pizza? Yeah, I'm sure there are lots of places. There are lots of places just out in the middle of fucking nowhere where you got you got the one pizza place. That's where, like, where I grew up, Rich. We had Pizza Hut. That's it. Oh my there God. were no other options. That sounds horrible. It, you know, that's that's what, truly horrible. It was what it was. Nothing you can really do about it. But you know, as far as far as I'm concerned, Pizza Hut, Little Caesars, Papa John's. Oh no, I'm sorry. Pizza Hut, Domino's. Papa John's Little Caesars. Damn near any local place. Anything else. <laughs> anything else. Fucking anything else is way above that. Absolutely. <laughs> I'll give that to you. Jack is wrong. This is this is nothing but my my uh, personal feelings on the fast food pizza hierarchy. I, I will accept being wrong. So someone in the chat said you got it exactly right. I that's uh, that's is how I feel about it. This might carry. This might carry. Everyone has their different. Everyone has a different taste bud. But now, like now, of course, I live in the city, so I have access to. 10 pizza places that I would go to before any one of those. Yeah. Because, you know, uh, there's good pizza in the world. There's delicious pizza in the world, people. Oh! Alright, I'll take it. I'll take it. I'll, no, I'll take it. Can you still putt from the rough? It's so close. I can. I couldn't putt, you know, like... And I'm right on the edge of the rough, but like if you put too far into the rough, it it just fucks up your aim because yeah. it takes so much power. And so, you know, I got the wind at my back, and so I'm I'm just I'm just gonna guess here that I can be a little more accurate with my chip, because like I could chip it right here, and it, it should roll right in. The wind's at my back. I might even hit the pin. Check the slope too if you're gonna roll it in. I just, I gotta make it one bounce. Okay. <laughs> you're, you're in the zone, Jack. Nice birdie. That was a nice birdie right there. I, I, I enjoy golf games, Rich. I really <laughs> enjoy golf games. Just, just cla simple, classic. I would go as far as to say, um, Blade Runner 2049 end up in my top five favorite films. 
like this year or for fucking all time, Faradin. That's that's a bold statement. I'm looking forward to it. You know, that's the same. Oh, you haven't seen that yet. You haven't seen Arrival yet, right? No. Same director, and I, know, I, lo I, I fucking loved Arrival. I, I love Blade Runner. I love Ryan. G I don't know why I didn't go see it this weekend. I think I think you should turn the difficulty up on this game. Though. There is no difficulty in this, is it? I, I, there's no option to turn the difficulty up. No. Oh, well, I've mastered I've mastered this, uh, so you know. I just can't help it that I'm so fucking good at golf games. Alright, Anonymous says, the problem with the McDonald's Szechuan, 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 Szechuan. Ooh, I like that better though. Szechuan. Szechuan, <laughs> Szechuan. <laughs> The Jesuit Szechuan sauce. sauce. Yeah, yeah. Releases the only made 2,000 packets for the whole country. Each each store that had the sauce only had 25 packets, and 300 or 400 people would show up for it. Well, because it was this. Here, this isn't a real thing. This is a stupid publicity stunt. Right. And they just they they underestimated uh, the insanity of some Rick and Morty fans. Yeah, that's a fair statement. Yeah, this was this was you know what this was, Rich? A publicity stunt gone horribly wrong. Yeah, yeah. Had they had they anticipated the demand, this could have this would have been joyous news all around. Hey, these idiot cartoon fans got a sauce. Hey, everybody's happy. But now it's the fans are idiots. McDonald's idiots. Everyone's an idiot. Basically, yes. <laughs> yes. All right, what I'm what I'm trying to do here, I'm gonna put some backspin on it, and I'm gonna try to hit the rough, because this is a long this is a long drive here. Yeah, and yeah. And if I hit the rough, that should slow the ball down just enough to land on the green. You you, you go for it, Jack. Oh my God, that is literally perfect. Yeah. Whoop. On the green. You did you did good, Jack. On you the did, green. You that did was good. My, that was my plan. I did it. I can now this should be a simple birdie if I can adjust for the slope. We'll see. <gasps> oh, I didn't. I'm so sorry. I didn't. I didn't do it. I'm so sorry. I'm gonna get par still, but that hurts. <laughs> that hurts right there. That would have been a nice birdie. I'm still three under. Three under par, everybody. Three under par. That's a it's, it's, great. That is great. That is a that is great. great score. And uh, look, no one's even fucking close to me. One over par, two over par. Fuck, man. Get your shit together. It's kind of depressing. <laughs> kind of depressing. Really? Nine holes? What kind of fucking shitty golf tournament is this? This is, the, this is the first golf tournament of the game. Oh, first? I thought you were a ways into this. Did you restart? No, I'm a ways into this. This is the first golf tournament into the game. I've played holes before. I've done stuff before. Oh. This was the first tournament. Like, I got money for that. Okay. Yeah. Okay. The putting in this game looks pretty weak. I expected more. It's a golf game. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm reading the things. It's it's pretty like I guess I didn't explain the putting too much. I could I'll, I'll go into that more next time I putt. But it's I mean it's similar as to your other strokes and it is a simplified version, but right. so uh, you've you've done a tournament. Yeah. Did you want to go Stardew Valley now? Or are you are you are you now uh, fully entrenched in golf? Let's see what happens next. We'll All see. right. You know what? Maybe something weird will happen finally. Maybe more I can fight more skeletons. Come on, come on. But what did Rich think about Blade Runner 2049? Yeah, Rich, what'd you think? Well, I don't, I don't know. I don't, I don't know why they needed a, a scene in the movie. It was just a 30 minute long, just boardroom meeting with the, you know, the Utani Corp, just meeting and having a discussion about the latest model of Android. The, the fucking, that scene was 30 minutes long. I get, like, Rich, it's always a balancing act because you want to make sure your world building is on point, right? Uh -huh. And you want to make sure it's a realistic world, and I think that's something that they would have in in, in their world. Don't you think? 
And so, like, a lot of people said that that scene dragged. Because it was 30 minutes uncut. Like, you know what the strangest part for me was? The camera didn't move at all. It was it was almost like like security footage. Well, they that's the first movie filmed entirely with uh, the Google clip. Thank you. Really? Yeah. See? That's why the camera doesn't move at all, because you're not supposed to... You're not supposed to wear the Google right, clip. Right, you're not supposed to wear it. So it's just on a table, and they filmed the whole movie with the Google clip. Interesting. Yeah, yeah. Technology, it's great. You know, like, it wasn't it wasn't necessarily my favorite scene in the movie, but now that I know that, I, I at least respect it. And you fuck Ridley Scott. Yeah? For getting his claws in this. And I, I, I know he's got a hard-on for the alien right now, but did he really need to bring the Xenomorph into the Blade Runner universe? I know he said that the same universe before, but do we need to actually fucking see uh, a Xenomorph rip out of uh, an android? And we got a fucking an android Xenomorph. Rich. Like, a lot of people will complain about fan service, okay? But I thought this was totally appropriate here. Yeah? Be like, one, everyone knew that it was coming. <laughs> Two, it was fun! And, like, that's what, it was, what we want to see is fun. And we saw the android, and of course, like, no one ever mentions the xenomorph ever again in the movie. And so we just know that was just a fun little throwaway. That was just like a, that was a, that was a big exaggerated yeah, wink yeah, to the audience. Yeah. It's the alien. It's fun. A lot of talking. A lot of talking. <laughs> Just gonna get through all that. Oh shit, I got a ton of money. Oh. 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 <laughs> Adorable. Uh oh, yeah. They did earn it. I'm sorry. They trained me. Uh, yeah. The yeah. one, the one I think is my ex-wife. She gets half my stuff. The other guy uh, sponsored me to be in this. Yeah, no, like no, that, that's totally earned. That's how everything works. That's like, how this life. Cut. Like your manager doesn't uh, doesn't act in the movie, but your manager helps you get the role in the movie. You get to cut the, the, the thing. Yeah, absolutely. If you don't like it, you don't have to have a manager. This is the thing. But then you don't get the parts <laughs> in the first place. So. It's totally earned. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Dr. Lou it up says, question for Jack. Oh, yeah, Dr. Do it up. What's up? When you had a beard, did you get many comments? I have a big beard. I get a lot of compliments. One person even called it almighty. But there are people who tell me to shave. People just come up to you and tell you to shave? That'd be weird. Um, yes. It's it's one of those things. You have a beard. People, just strangers. And, like, when it was full beard... I still have to find those pictures for you guys uh, of me in full beard. Like, people would just come up to me. Like, people would ask to touch it. It was weird. My friend Tim Higgins, you know, as a uh, prereq Tim, uh, for still right now has a giant mustache, like a Raleigh Fingers mustache that he, like, greases and curls up. Yeah. It's his trademark stash. Yeah. And he says, women just come up to him and without even asking, touch it. And he's like, what, what What? if I just came up to you and grabbed your tits? Like, that's, that's, you can't just go up to someone and touch it. But he says it happens constantly. Like, he'll, he'll work, like, he, he works at a... Has at he gotten a, many dates out of this? He has, you know, he has a wife. Oh. So, <laughs> I think if he were single, he would feel very different. Right, right. But, <laughs> but yeah, no, people would comment on my beard all the time. Uh, shaving it is completely up to you, obviously. Uh, I know, and I know, for some reason, people have become obsessed with me growing my beard back. It's all over Twitter, like, every single day, someone says, well, I need to grow my beard Beards back. are a thing. Huh? Beards are a thing these days. Beards are a thing. It was a fine beard. Huh? It was a fine beard. You know, at one point, it was a fine beard. Uh, but, you know, but also, right now, every other person has a beard. Where do you, where do you, where do you cut it off? If you're, you know, because you got the bald head. 
if you had a beard, where would the where would the line be, Jack? I I'm really lucky. I have glasses. <laughs> I'd cut it off with the glasses, right? <laughs> yeah, I guess that makes sense. Like and like right above the ear, like wherever your sideburn, you know, like yeah, you kind of know like where you shave. So like I would cut it off right above the ear, and I'd cut it off at my glasses. So. That would work for me, but no, I'm not growing the beard back for several reasons. The most important being I couldn't stand it. Getting food and whatnot? Oh, man. I, like, what was it? Like, a, a little bit ago, I tried to grow it back, and the second it got long enough to, like, get food stuck in it, I was done. See, I, I keep this really trim, though. Sure. So that's not really a problem for me. You see, but even that, like, I don't, like... Even if, like, if a piece of food got in it, and then I'd, like, you know, wipe it out, I would still feel the need to, like, wash it. I'd, like, yeah. Hmm. So. So, in any case, uh, my beard is not coming back. Okay. All right. You hit it here, folks. The beard is not coming back. It's not. All right, what do I need to do? Gately says, hey, guys. I was wondering if you received the awful Mr. Hush in the mail yet. Wouldn't be surprised if you never get around to watching it, though. Also, know if Jay's seen Three Amigos yet? Hi, Anne. Hi, Anne. I think uh, they're saying hi to someone oh, I know called Anne. Right. But hi, Anne. Hi, Anne again. I don't know you. But hi. Um, as far as Mr. Hush, I probably. I don't. I don't. I don't think you understand how many movies we get. A ridiculous amount. A ridiculous amount. There's people who send in care packages, in addition to all the individual rap ones we get. I, we get a ton of movies. Mm -hmm. and, oh, and that like that doesn't count like the movies we get for ourselves. I got one coming in the mail too. I'm pretty excited. Mm, yeah. I found I found one that looked really great. Okay. Okay. But it's like yeah, no, there are so many movies that come in every every single day. So I've probably gotten it. <laughs> what do the what do the you know get check get the check the mail like Friday? So. Yeah. I probably have it, but the, we get so many in, I don't remember that one specifically. There's one person who sends like like one a day. Yeah. Sometimes multiple a day. Hmm. And he would save so much money if he just like. Like instead of every day, like maybe once a week or once every two weeks, just send a box. You could save on the postage, but just individual mail, one, like one a day. Interesting. Same person. Hey, person, bulk that together. <laughs> it would make sense. It would save you some postage. I'm looking right now. Of if anyone's curious, I'm looking for my dad's golf glove. There it is. Oh, now now I can get, uh, now I can do my extra long drive during regular golf, like super power sh drive shots. Dev jar on the ch oh god, people are great, but so, so many things I can't read the thing before it scrolled off screen. Yeah, it says hey guys, I was just wondering why all the hate for Alien Isolation. Taking a second look, I think the game is a really well-made survival horror game, especially next to all the triple-A titles that are released today. I was just curious if, in hindsight, you guys thought differently about the game, and its sound production design in terms of quality. Well, I don't know that we had much bad to say about, like, sound and production design. They obviously spent a lot of time and care making it, mm -hmm. but I thought it was a boring experience, mm -hmm. and that has changed. To be fair, I hate didn't like it so i didn't replay it right i have not even thought about going back to play the game no something we you know we talked about during the review is seeing the seams like you could i could at least see the alien ai and it was derpy <laughs> the alien didn't look very scary I did not feel like I was being hunted. I felt like at random intervals, the AI told the thing to pop out of a vent and walk around and pop back up every now and then. Right. I did not feel stalked at any point. Yeah.
Yeah, and so it just, you know... And it could just be, like... Survival horror isn't necessarily a genre we enjoy, but it wasn't very scary. I think the other problem of it that we talked about during the review is it was also trying to scare you while simultaneously um, uh, prodding the nostalgia factor of Alien, right? Mm -hmm. And so, like, all I was thinking is how cool it was to be in the Alien universe. I didn't necessarily care about the Alien or wasn't scared. I was like, ooh, I like them on the Nostromo. This is great, you know? C comparing it to Thief? It feels like just a completely half-ass stealth game. <laughs> sure. I could see that. I could see that. So it just it didn't do it for us. Uh, you know. Many people disagree with us, and I'm okay with that. Compare Alien Isolation with Slender. I have absolutely no interest in Slender. The original Thief was fucking amazing. Yes, whenever I refer to Thief, that's what I'm talking about. Not not the reboot. I'm not talking about this game. There we go. Alright. So now I'll just see what he told me to do. <clears throat> Meet me at Tidy Park Golf and Country Club. Okay, I think I'm going to a new place now. I have a bunch of money, so if, if I wanted to, I think I can buy a new putter that does something special. Let me see here. So, like, the other neat thing about this game is while you just walk around, mm -hmm. uh, at any point, uh, you can just drop a ball and hit it. And there are some, like... Anywhere. Anywhere, yeah. So it's like, if I wanted to, like, I'll just, you know... Did you get anything for making that hold? No. Oh, nice. Robbed. Hit the flag, nice. But you can, uh, and there are actually, like, some puzzles where it's like, you'll have to hit some stuff and you'll open up secret areas. One secret area I opened up was this mini-golf course. What happens if you hit people? <laughs> that you like that you know birds show around, them. and they oh yeah for, they have this mini golf club for sale or the this putter for sale. <laughs> mini golf course, that's mini, adorable. It is. So the whirly putter can bend shots. We should buy that. All right, we should buy that. I don't know what it is, but there nah, we'll equip the whirly putter. Oh, right, you know what? We can test it out. Can't we? You try. You, you tell me. Oh, I'm gonna go outside. Apparently, I can't do it here. But... What? You can't play the mini golf course? I'm sure I can. I just don't know how. All right. <clears throat> I'll go to a putting green. Nanum says, "Jack, I'm Jack. If I put one slice of pizza upside down on another slice of pizza, is it a sandwich? Papa John sucks. Yes, I think that is a sandwich. Whether or not it's a good sandwich, I can't say." I see no reason to put one slice of pizza on top of the other. So, you know, here's where we get into tricky territory, Rich, right? Is a calzone a sandwich? Or is it its own unique thing? I, you know, I've heard this with hot dogs and all that. I no longer give a shit. Yeah? Yeah. Oh, look at this. Look at what I can do here. Isn't that crazy? I suppose. I don't know why you would want to do this. Get around an obstacle. Sure. But I can do it now, so there we go. Great. All right. We're getting out of here. Get out of here. Stop it. Dr. Do It Up says, Hi, guys. I'm no th I am now 30 hours into XCOM, and it still feels like no time has passed yet. 
Finally, That's a game a that rewards my cowardly play style. <laughs> <laughs> right? Any fun ideas for future playthroughs? LOL. Dissect my sectoid. Like, I don't know. I don't know what you mean. Like fun ideas for future playthroughs. Uh, like you could, you could, you could do like a, a, a theme with your team. I had one XCOM run where I was modeling everyone after GI Joe characters. Mm. Neat. Uh, so this. Oh, the, oh, look a spooky one. The, the nice thing with with XCOM is you get the, you know, the character name. You also get the, the nickname. Yeah, yeah. And you just take a look at the old GI Joes. You can actually find what their names are supposed to be. Nice. Conrad Hauser, code name Duke. Scarlett O'Hara, Scarlett. Mm -hmm. Classified, Snake Eyes. <laughs> Tommy Arashikage, Storm Shadow. Is it yeah. It was neat. Dance to the tunes a bit. Thank you. Yeah, that's a good idea. Like, make all make all your troopers something fun, mm -hmm. like a fun little yeah. yeah. Basically, play a little dress up. <laughs> it's a great time. Fi Rock says, always have a pizza in the freezer, then you won't have to waste money on garbage fast food chains. Also, hi! Uh, Thanks for all the videos, since I never catch you streaming normally. No. Carry on, fraudsters. Thank you. You know, like, they're, the, the frozen pizza market is now booming with quality, with quality things. You can even find, like, there's a, pl there's a place here, there's a place in Milwaukee that locally makes frozen pizza. And they're delicious. Yeah. They're called, like, Cedar Teeth or something. Okay. And you can find them at, like, Outpost or, like, the, the, the hippie stores. And so it's like someone in Milwaukee makes their own frozen pizzas, and they're great. And so it's like local frozen pizza. You can do it, people. <laughs> you, can, you can eat better food. You don't have to eat garbage all the time. <laughs> I believe in you. you want, oh, you want, like, gameplay changes to XCOM? Um... Uh, Take a look at the second wave options. If you're playing Enemy Unknown, Enemy Within, or you could just take a look at whatever mods are out there. I don't have anything specific I can give you, but take a look at what's available and see what's interesting to you. Super Internet Mike says, or, oh wait, now that is Super Internet, okay. That was super intended for a second, and I read it wrong. No, it's super internet. Mike says, "Hey guys, have you tried Ruiner yet? And if so, what did you think?" Doesn't look like my kind of thing, but it looks like Jack's kind of thing. But I don't know that Jack has tried Ruiner yet. Uh, I have not tried Ruiner yet. Uh, for no particular, well, I'm, I mean, I guess I've just been playing other shit, you know. <laughs> You're trying to hit him in the face. I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing here. What's the goal? I don't know. Why are you here? Uh, I'm supposed to meet Coach over here. But these guys aren't letting me in. And so I guess you know what I'm thinking. What are they saying to you? Huh? What are they saying to you? I don't you? know. I stopped paying attention. What I'm assuming here is if I can make, like, some holes, they'll they'll be impressed with me. Okay. If I make holes outside of the fence. Okay. So, so that's that's my running theory. Chat's saying you need to beat them in a dance-off. They know what's up. Oh, so close. So I got to, what's up with you? Three out of four shots landed on the gr Oh, there it is. There it is. So I just need to, I just need to make it inside the circle. Forget about that wind. I, I shorted it a little bit. And it's not the green, it's, it's rough. It's 
it's rough, so it should slow down pretty significantly. And I'm putting backspin on it. Oh, that's too short. That's too short. Oh, no. Oh. Nice. Fucking nice. <laughs> Which only reads donations. Not not if you not if you impress me. Maybe maybe try saying something interesting. Boom! <laughs> Eat it, dick. Eat it. Like if I see the same comment over and over again and I'm not reading it, maybe it's because I don't think it's a very interesting comment to read. <laughs> maybe you need to stop being a dick, dick. Oh! <laughs> Fucking hole in one! <laughs> Let me into your club now, bitch! I'm assuming they're referring to your little hole in one there. Yeah. Someone's saying that was awesome. I'm, I'm, I'm not going to say I'm a golf story master, but I'm pretty damn good. <laughs> like, I do, like, when I was playing this, you know, before Stardew Valley came out, when I was playing this, I found myself constantly just being like, fucking yes. Like, you know, you hit that eagle. I think I want to hit a double eagle, which is two under par, and you're just like, I am awesome. <laughs> I'm saying it, golf story master. I I I'm, I'm a pretty I'm pretty good at golf story, and most of it is cute. And like when I'm playing by myself, I I am reading all of the story stuff because all of this stuff from Golf Story is adorable. It's all over dramatic and very adorable. Uh, I'm gonna assume the developers are Australian though, because there's a lot of weird English to it. Yeah. And it feels Australian. A lot like of mate. Slang. A lot of mate. Yeah. Yeah. Alright. So why the change in form format for the Cuphead review? Finally, someone brought it up. Several reasons. Hold and let me first first and foremost, we don't have a set right now. The, several reasons. One, let me just say, I really liked it. Yeah. I really, like, I think it's one of our most concise episodes ever. I, I, I like it well enough. Yeah. Yeah. I think, I think when it's, when it's the video of us as an editor, I get lazy sometimes. And I was like, and, and I kind of let it breathe a little too much. But when I'm just editing the audio, every ah, um, or repeated gone. statement is fucking gone. <laughs> Because we do, we we <laughs> right. when we have the conversation, we say right. the same thing over and over again to make sure we get our point across. Um, and so we don't have a set right now, and it's all 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 prereq is all about getting rid of the bottlenecks. And usually we have two things that take up the most time: setting up and tearing down our set. Yeah, because we don't have like we don't even have a permanent set, no, no matter what. Right. And so we always need to set up our area, shoot the episode, and then tear down our area. Uh-huh. Huge pain in the ass. Yeah. So this recording session was us literally sitting here and talking into these microphones. <laughs> and it was great. Now here's the other here's the other genius part about the Cuphead review and the the new style we are trying. We fil uh, we recorded on Tuesday. Yeah. I had the episode up and running Thursday afternoon. That's that's not bad. That's a day and a half edit. A, and that's unheard of for video. Like, that would be so stressful if I was editing video. Because there was no importing footage. There was no transcoding footage. There was no rendering out. It was all just edit time. So... It severely, or it, it uh, dramatically reduced two big bottlenecks right. for us getting an episode out there. So I really liked it. And something really exciting, something that I'm working on, I'll give you, uh, I've, I've teased it a little bit. Juan, the man who made our little illustrations, uh, I've commissioned him to make several other ones in that style. Nice. nice. 
using different emotional range. <laughs> and so he, he, sh he showed me a, a couple rich concepts of like, you know, angry rich, yeah. confused rich, uh, sad rich. So I can cut to these little adorable illustrations and, of course, higher quality ones because I, I did get some positive or some uh, constructive feedback. Yeah. Saying that, you know, the the uh, illustrations didn't look that great yeah. because they were lower resolution. So we got some nice high resolution images now of us and different emotional states so we can have a little more fun with the editing. Right. Uh, so I'm really excited. We're good. Good. I'm really excited about that. So we're, we're definitely going to give it at least one, if not two more episodes. Because, you know, a, a lot of the negativity is just because it's a new style. There's a ton yeah. of negativity in the comments. And I see that. I also don't really care. I don't really care either. This this edits faster. I thought it turned out fine. The, the lazy part of me yeah. is fine with it because... <laughs> I had to move around a bunch of fucking lights and couches and shit for right. time we want to shoot. Right. But uh, no, but it's also, it's the same thing. We're having the same discussion. It's just easier to produce. And so I think a lot of the negativity comes from the fact that it's new and different. And so we're going to give it a few more episodes, you know, to ease people in. But, uh... Please do it the new way more. I've also we, I've also received plenty of positive feedback. People do like the new style. Did you know we didn't like Cuphead in the right ways? Fucking fucking hell! Both Rich and I really enjoyed Cuphead, and we said it like a dozen times in the episode. We thought it was a good game. <sighs> Have any two people <laughs> ever gotten more shit for people who liked a game being angry at you for giving it a positive review? Why does that always happen to us? It was a... I think overall it was a very positive review. Because we said some negative things about its hype and about its gameplay. Don't you just want to start banging your head into a table when you hear somebody say that we gave Metal Gear 5 a thumbs down? Right? Don't you just want to start banging your head into a table? So many people in the comments were just like, Oh, no surprise, they hated Cuphead. They probably weren't very good at it. It's like, we... Uh, we, we said we liked it. <laughs> We said we liked it, man. <laughs> we said we we said we liked it, but it's also not revolutionary gameplay, which is not the same as saying it's bad. Somebody was mad about my comments about the music. I'm like, the music's very good. I was complimenting the music by saying the game was weird when you took the music out. That was a fucking that was intended as a compliment. That was a compliment. That wasn't just intended as one. You said the music is gorgeous. In fact, it's so good, listen to it without the music, and it's weird. Yes! People are idiots. But, uh, you know, overall, I really I really liked the, uh, the episode. I liked how it turned out. And uh, I'm looking forward to doing it again to see if uh, we can... Uh, oh, I guess I can't go that way. Uh, you know, to see if uh, the second... I mean, the, the other thing, as far as, like, figuring out the numbers, as far as, like, how long it took to make and whatnot, it was also a short discussion. It was also a significantly shorter discussion than we usually have. Mm -hmm. And so, for our next one, might, our next one might be a little more meatier. And so, figuring out if the edit time is the same. I don't want to say it is. is it, do you still want to do the one, or do you just want to wait for Mario? On no, I still want to do the one. I think okay. I think that yeah. I, I you know why? Because I think it needs to be talked about. I don't think anyone's talking about it. All right. And I just want to. What do you mean I have business here? So I haven't got much time. I've been busy with lunch. I know. Shit I know you are. I know you are. All right. Uh. Thank you, Anonymous. Anonymous says, here's a contribution to the prereq new capture card fun. Hey. Thanks for all the hours of entertainment you've given us over the years. Holy crap. Yeah, thank you. Thank thanks, you a lot. Man. We appreciate that. This, uh, you know, this new capture card brought to you by Anonymous. <laughs> That's why we get to play the Switch tonight. So they're schmoozing? I have to schmooze... 
And I have to visit her to talk about money. Okay. Okay, yeah, I'm, this is me schmoozing. Can you only pick one person to schmooze with, or...? No, I, I'm supposed to schmooze with everyone. Like, I, I go around and talk to everyone. I think that's that's the... We're probably supposed to, like, listen to what they're saying here, but fuck it. Thank you. And Hap says, The shop guys play music on the house PA. Recently, the spaceship monologue from the Tales from Genesis Space starts playing in the background of a song. Which one of you hack frauds is editing EDM? <laughs> Maybe whoever's doing that is a fan of the show and, and sneaking stuff in. Quite possibly. Like, if you listen to the uh, the Deadbolt soundtrack by Chris Christodoulou, the guy who did uh, um, Risk of Rain. Yeah. Uh, one of one part of the Deadbolt soundtrack has the uh, Oh My God from Troll 2 in it. He's eating him! <laughs> and he's gonna eat me! Oh my god! And like, that's what starts the song. It's great. <laughs> Chillzilla says, since you guys are staples in geek culture and love Star Wars because Star Wars is love and yep. Star Wars is life. It's true. Yep. Any chance of you guys playing Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic on here? Nope. <laughs> Mikey Battle says, long time fan. Hi. Just wanted to say thanks for the entertainment and thank you, Rich, for getting me into XCOM. Glad, glad to do it. No, Rich. Glad to do it. You've you've ruined another person's life. That's hours. <laughs> Wonderful hours. <laughs> Just I, the wasted away <laughs> in in uh, in tactics. Okay. 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 says, "Hey guys." Have either, have either of you tried the Stranger Things mobile game? It's surprisingly good. I've never even heard of the Stranger Things mobile game. Uh, I think they came, they came out with a free mobile game to help promote the new season. Yeah, I'm, I'm not super interested. I have heard good things. Yep. Uh, but I have no, I don't like, I don't even know how it plays or what it's supposed right. to do. But like, I, I remember like glancing an article going, "Hey, it's one of those free uh, games that's an advertisement, but this one's not so bad." <laughs> Okay. So. Also, Rich, as someone who isn't a big fan of horror, how do you get into the Halloween spirit? Eh, I'm not a big fan of horror movies, but just Halloween's fun enough. Mm -hmm. It's a fun holiday. I got nothing against spider web decorations and skulls and Skellingtons. pumpkins. Yeah, yeah. That's fun stuff. Oh, yeah. I put up my Halloween decorations over the weekend. Pretty excited about that. No. Your, Spiders. Your, your draconian restrictions have been lifted. Halloween is at the end of October. <laughs> Hall <laughs> October is about Halloween. It's September has nothing to do with Halloween, Rich. Filmmaker Freak says players are running into a great glitch in the game. If you save while in the Tidy Park Clubhouse, the main character sprite shrinks down to ant size. You guys need to save there. Source Polygon. That's where we are right now. Does it ruin the game? No. Alright. We'll see what happens. And if we crash, then I'll the, go over to Stardew Valley. The source polygon makes me think this is some kind of joke. Oh, okay. Well, hold on, I gotta get through this text dialogue, and then I will try. We'll try. You know what? We'll try it out. It ruins the game. Do it. No. Do it. <laughs> Do it. No. Sounds like it might break the game. Do it. <laughs> it's a game-breaking bug. <laughs> Uh, that's great. Polygon is a gaming website. It's also a controversial gaming website. Yeah? 
Well, hold on. Anywhere in Tidy Park, or do I need to be in the man in the mansion? Because I'm not in the mansion anymore. Now I'm in Tidy Park. Games are weird like that. Like you know, like if you do this one thing in this one area, you can fly for the rest of the game. Why? Because code is weird. <laughs> Okay, so if I save here, do I turn? What do I have to do to be a member? I, I don't know. You might have to look up this glitch. Oh, not it's not like I've ever done it. Right. Oh, this is okay. So I need to. I need to see her about money. I need to see her about etiquette lessons. And I need to dig up some better clubs. And then I can be a member of this. So, like, this is the RPG. So, yeah. And then I'm sure, like, for each of these, I have to do some sort of golf related task. Okay. Okay. You know. How many hours are you into this? Uh, a decent number. Like, what's the end goal? I don't know, be the best golfer. <laughs> oh well. How long? Uh, what's our what's our uptime? How long have we been going? I have no idea. It's seven thirty. I'm gonna throw a golf. We start. We started. Game. We started early. We started before six. Just just before six. Not too much yeah. before six. Okay. Well, so we've at least been going an hour and a half. Yeah. That's a decent cut. Are you are you done with this? Um, um, because now yeah now now we get into a lot of the. Uh, the, the fetch quest, I gotta go here right, and do right. a thing, and then go here and do a thing, and so like that gets a little tedious, I'll tell you what. So, uh, if uh, no one minds, I might just hop on over to, to Stardew Valley and continue uh, construction on the coffee stuff. <laughs> unless, <laughs> unless they really want to see Ruiner, which is also another thing we could do. Chad, you want Stardew or Ruiner? I got a feeling it's gonna be Ruiner. Okay, and that's fine. You, j you tell me, I'm done with this. Chat, tell me what you want to see because I, that's I'm, I am here for your enjoyment, and I'm okay playing either. So, All right, well, you can see what's going on here. Uh, Stardew Ruiner, Stardew Ruiner. Uh, fuck, we need another. Um, do, we, do we need a poll? Yeah. All right, we, we, hold on, I'll do it. You'll do it. I'll do it. Oh right. Oh right. The TV's not. Oh. Okay, hold on. I'll do it. I'll do an official poll. We're gonna do an official poll. Hold on. Pause. Pause for poll. Here's our poll maker. Chat voting. What game? Uh, vote one for Stardew. Exclamation point. Vote two for Ruiner. And we will run it for 180 seconds. And start voting. What do they do? To vote. Uh, exclamation point, vote one for Stardew. Exclamation point, vote two, no spaces, for Ruiner. All right. I did it earlier, and it works great. See, look, you can actually, it tallies the votes okay. live for us. Isn't that great? Exclamation point, vote one, or for Stardew, exclamation one, one point. One is Stardew, yeah. two is Ruiner. Yeah, but you have to say, you have to type in exclamation point, vote one for Stardew, and exclamation point, vote two for Ruiner. Okay. Oh, this is working great. This, this is working great. This is a beefcake. This is a nice feature. Beefcake. What, what can we do for you? You're great. This is, <laughs> this is beautiful, Le man. Leftover beefcakes. Fine uh, Twitch chat watcher program. Wait, it gives us the chatter lottery. It gives us chat voting. And it saves all of our subscriber names for us. Fine thing. A fine, fine tool thing. for any streamer. And it's only $19.99. <laughs> Per month. I don't know what you want to charge for, Beefcake. Start selling this. It's great. <laughs> Ruiner is going away with it, by the way. People really want Ruiner. McDonald's is bringing Shazwan Sh sauce Chase back this winter Chase via one. McDonald's Twitter. Was that a shock after this? B pu pu this publicity stunt? The, the botched publicity stunt? <laughs> Well, somewhat. They might have known they were going to run out, and then the hype would only build further. And so that when they actually announced it's full on coming back, it would be a, 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 a huge, huge. After you get the the 
viral stories about fighting going on at the McDonald's. This might actually be 100% planned. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe. Anonymous says, Dear Jack, which is worse? Yep. Game of Thrones fans or Blade Runner fans? <laughs> I've... Uh, as a Blade Runner fan, I'm obviously going to say Game of Thrones fans. Uh, okay. I, I any here's the here's the thing. Any fandom can have obnoxious fans. Any fandom. the The question is, what's popular right now? So you just hear, like so Game of Thrones is all the talk right now, and so like you just get Game of Thrones fans everywhere. Mm -hmm. Every single thing has awful fans. <laughs> because because there are awful people in the world. That's yeah. just how it works. But uh, you know, as as a fan of Blade Runner, obviously I'm going to say Game of Thrones fans. What has the worst fans besides RLM? Mm. Star Wars. That's pretty bad. Uh, if if today's any indication, Rick and Morty fans. Uh. <laughs> Anime fans? Cuphead fans? <laughs> You're not liking it the right way! Metal Gear Solid fans? You're not liking it the right way! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, voting has ended. Uh, we'll be playing Ruiner next. That is okay. We can do that. By a safe margin. By a safe margin. That is fine. Uh, we're, uh, here's, uh, I'm gonna go uh, take a small bathroom break that's fine that's fine uh i will be back in a moment then we'll play some ruiner nano says i'm watching tng for the first time and i just saw the episode where the klingons cloned their version of jesus i can't imagine something so bonkers being included in a serious show nowadays yeah well, it depends on what tone they're going for. They want to go grim, dark, grim, grim, serious, grim. Like like Star Trek Discovery. I have not watched the third or fourth episode yet, though. But, yeah, they probably couldn't get away with that now in a, in a show that wanted to be serious business. they probably do it on the Orville. I mean, they've ripped... Of everything else, TNG. Why not that one specific episode, too? Anonymous says, Hey guys, love the show. You guys should play Knights of the Old Republic next stream. It's a really cool RPG and won Game of the Year in 2003. No, go fuck yourself. Anonymous says, Hey guys, my wife just started her first year as an elementary school art teacher, and she is supposed to dress up as something on Halloween. What should she be? Miss Frizzle? Dr. Doom it Up says, For me, the professional studio setting is what separates your reviews from the 98% of other YouTube Thank reviews. You. It brings in a different dynamic and provides more rewatchability. I hope it stays in some way. Eh, I'll bring that one up again when, when Jack is back. Uh, yeah, Telgon, I, I still haven't watched Discovery Episode 3, so, uh, no point in asking me if I've warmed up to it yet. I've not, I've not yet watched it. I'm probably going to. Possibly tonight, possibly tomorrow night, I'll watch Episode 3 and 4. 